Some might be disturbed by this. It, it might seem a little bit out of control. You might be thinking, where are the brakes on this? You know, telling people to go out there and party, go out there and celebrate, go out there and shop, and what if they run themselves into debt and then they have to declare bankruptcy, and what about that? Um, well, yeah, okay, that'd be bad. Don't do that. <laughs> Drunkenness is bad. Don't do that. Well, I need the brakes on this thing. Well, why do we only need brakes on one kind of car? Why do we only need brakes on the celebratory car? Why don't we ever need brakes on the dower car? Right, because the dower car is just sitting there, not going anywhere. <laughs> this might seem a little bit out of control, as though I'm urging you to go overboard. But of course I'm urging you to go overboard. Of course, that's the whole point. Think about it. When this world was in sin and error pining, did God give us a teaspoon of grace in order to make our dungeon a tad pleasanter? Is that what the incarnation is all about? I think I'm going to go down and just sort of maybe give them a little more, six inches more in their chain so they can move a little bit. No. God did not make our dungeon a tad pleasanter. No, he came was born of a virgin, born under the law, lived that perfect life, destroyed death in his death, went into the grave, ascended from, uh, ascended from the dead, and ascended into heaven, from which place he is destroying all his enemies. Of course he went overboard. The gospel is overboard. Everything about the gospel is overboard. God does not ladle out grace with a teaspoon. So, he didn't come down to make your dungeon a tad pleasanter. No, he broke your dungeon to smithereens, which was excessive. That was an overreaction, wasn't it? Well, he would say, not if I want to set them free. If I want to set them free, breaking the dungeon to pieces, telling them, as in the great words of Wesley, I rose, went forth, and followed thee. The dungeon flamed with light. He busted, is like Paul in, in jail at Philippi. There's a great earthquake, and they can just walk out. That's the Lord's action. That was excessive, but not excessive if you want to set them free.